around. They live in little family groups. So, wow! You do not. Hey! Oh. What's up? Happy Thursday, everybody. I hope you're doing good. I am. Yeah, it's awesome. It's still very hot. It's Florida, by the way. And uh, tortoises are trying to stay cool. There are some snow leopards, or rather, blonde leopards. We got this guy hanging out right now. Oh, that female's just doing her thing. But today is Thursday, and Thursdays are for questions. That's right, uh, I'm gonna get to it. This question comes from Seth I. He asks, hey, why don't you do more videos on the monkey tails? I'd really love to see how you take care of them. Okay. Thank you to our amazing supporters who help to make this show possible every week. Your support makes a real difference in our efforts here at Camp Kennedy. This week, our special shout out goes to Kristen McIntosh. Thank you for all you do and for loving reptiles. You know what else? I've got a female that uh, she's, she likes to climb out. Let's see if she climbed out just while we're, while I'm thinking of it, because she likes to climb out. I, I sat and watched her and there she is. Look at this. I sat and watched where she climbed out and uh, wound up um, blocking off where she was getting out. But this little ninja tortoise, she found another way out. So after the video, I guess I'm just going to sit here and uh, watch her for a while and see if I can find the other place she climbs out of. And you wouldn't believe how uh, nimble this gal is. You wouldn't believe it. Uh, I think Kate took some iPhone video of it, and uh, maybe I'll drop that in so you know what I'm talking about. Uh, okay, young lady, do me a favor. I know the grass is greener on the other side, but stay here. Um, it's really not going to hurt her to climb out unless she flipped over, but she was actually climbing up this and walking over this, but I put this rock here, so now that's out of the picture, so I don't know where she's doing it from now. So uh, once again, I'll come back, see where this gal's doing her thing at. Uh, what else have I done? I made a little trench. See my trench? I trenched all the way because when Slinky's water overflows, it water uh, overflows into the new alligator pond that currently doesn't have an alligator in it. Actually, that may not be entirely true. I did see a baby in here, um, but uh, yeah. So the water flows in, very nice. I might actually put a little pipe or make something a little bit more permanent than that trench. But uh, yeah, things are good. I cleaned up, I mowed, um, grass is coming back. All I need to do is get some fencing and this pond is done. Uh, I would like to place a few more rocks and maybe some pilings and put a boardwalk up so that when we get the alligators, we could do a feeding right from the boardwalk, which will be so cool. As you know, this is my lizard enclosure and uh, there's Slinky. Hi Slinks, how you doing? Uh, Slinky is, as always, fat and happy. He's been uh, eating quite well lately. And, uh, you know, he's just a happy little booger. So why don't you say hello to Slinky. Hi, buddy. Slinky likes to sunbathe. He enjoys short walks off long piers and never says no to rodent surprise. Uh, cool, man. So we're moving along. Moving along. Okay. Oh, hello. Everyone's kind of on chill mode. But whenever I walk in, they think they're getting fed, so they get all worked up. And uh, yeah, there'll be a feeding today. Hi, Lola. Don't be mean. Don't do it, Lola. Lola, don't bite my hand either. You notice how she knows the difference between me and the uh, object of her disdain, who is Guapo? How could you not love Guapo? Hmm? Why you gotta bust on Guaps? These two lizards, I don't know. What are you gonna do? Uh... You gotta forgive, sweetie. I don't know what he said to you, but just get over it, you know? You're holding a grudge and that's not good. It'll eat you up. Stress is a killer. Anyway, I'm not stressed because I get to play with lizards and turtles all day. And uh, we're gonna venture into this little habitat. What's in there? Hello? Anyone home? Hello, guys. Hello. Why don't we just do this? Oh, hello, young lady. There she is, El Diablo. Hi, El Diablo. How are you, sweet pea? You are not the friendliest uh, Solomon Island skink, are you? Um, so Seth, here's a scoop, man. This is how I like to keep them. This is my female Carusia zebrata, or Solomon Island skink, or 
You can call him the monkey tail skink, or you can call him the prehensile tail muskink. <laughs> I think skink, not muskink. See how she's holding on with her tail? Let's go ahead and get her so we don't, let's get her out here so we can film her, as long as she doesn't bite me. And this is okay to hold her by her tail, by the way. Their tails are real strong, and she's really adapted uh, for life in the trees. She, they're arboreal lizards. Oh, and look down here. Doink! There's the male. There's Mr. Solomon himself. Hey, Solly, what you doing, buddy? You're looking good. You're looking good. You got uh, your tail wrapped right around here, and uh, it's just holding on. Doesn't matter because you're actually on the uh, ground. But this female, just a real beautiful lizard. These guys are herbivores. Um, that being said, even though they're herbivores, I have witnessed, I have witnessed this lizard eat a baby turtle. That's correct. Well, I didn't witness it. I, I know she ate it because uh, there was a baby turtle in here and uh, then there wasn't. So they're definitely going to make use of easy sources of protein like many different herbivores will do. Some tortoises will do that. I've seen it um, happen with tortoises that uh, if one dies, the others come over and kind of get a nibble. Such good protein shouldn't go to waste. Uh, as we know, um, redfoot tortoises will sometimes do that. And these guys, I wouldn't be surprised if they'll take birds or eggs out of the nests. When protein is available, even herbivorous animals will sometimes nibble on them. Uh, there have been reports of birds uh, being eaten by deer. So uh, there you go. Not everything in nature is so cut and dry. Uh, Solomon's quite a bit bigger. Uh, but here at Camp Kennan, these lizards are eating collards, hibiscus, uh, they're eating romaine, they eat the tortoise diet, they eat herbivorous Missouri uh, pellets, uh, which is specially formulated for herbivorous uh, reptiles. Uh, and they're just really interesting uh, creatures, man. I enjoy them. I like when I come out and I see them doing their thing. And I, I noticed that my girl right here, she's looking a little dull and that's because she's most likely going to shed very soon. They'll shed like other lizards in patches and uh, they just, the skin sloths off and in patches. And you know, sometimes I'll get to peel it off. The other interesting thing about these animals and this species of lizard uh, is the fact that these guys here give birth to live young, similar to blue tongue skinks. Uh, which are found in Australia and uh, some parts of Indonesia, Papua New Guinea. Uh, these guys here are live bearers, and they live in family groups. Uh, they live in little family groups. So, wow, goodness, they can also be quite formidable. They can be uh, somewhat cantankerous, as uh, El Diablo lives up to her name. Uh, you know, and look at the size of those heads. You do not, hey, what are you doing? It's not, it's a, it's a, it's a camera. It's not food. You guys ate, look, you ate all your greens from yesterday. Settle down, settle down. But look at their heads. They have powerful jaws. And I've been bitten by these knuckleheads. Uh, they've actually one bit, hey, 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 settle. One actually bit me on my neck and it's like someone squeezing a vice. Basically what happened is there's the initial pain and then it slowly, but steadily gets even more and more painful until you're finally in the fetal position screaming uh, in a high-pitched high tone. Yeah, suck. Don't get bit, okay? That was one of the things you don't want to do. Don't get bit. Uh, these guys here will also uh, subsist. Don't get all raised up like that. Settle it down. It's just a camera. They'll also eat pothos. Uh, there used to be pothos here, but I'll show you what it looks like right here growing this pothos out so that these little weedy tunes will go ahead and eat it. Um, so you can just basically, these animals will subsist off this when they need to. It's a vine that you can pick up in any uh, nursery uh, and they love it. So this is something they love to eat and it's something they will subsist off of. And so I grow it around the property uh, here at Camp Kennan and uh, I've got a nice free food source for them. And you can see they have no problem nibbling it down. You see the little teeth marks also? Those little herbivorous teeth will, uh, will work. Uh, I guess they do work, <laughs> or else why have them? Uh, let's see if the young lady will eat. She's always kind of, like I said, she's got issues. She's, she's got issues. I, I'm not getting bit by this animal. No flipping way, man. Not fun. She did it to me once. Ain't gonna happen again. Ah! Ah! 
ah! you see they'll make you scream <laughs> and I, I think somebody once called me I'm like why are you so scared of your lizards man some like jerk face oh get out hey oh come on anyway um someone was like yeah man you're so scared why are you being over dramatic yeah okay okay there smarty pants you get bit by the solomon island skink and let's see how tough you are uh i don't like to get bit uh, you know it's just not fun oh no hold on let me help you don't bite my hat let's see let's see here you go come here there you go see solomon's a little bit more predictable uh a little bit he will still nail me if he wanted uh, but I like to let these guys do their thing. So anyhow, female like this will uh, give birth to one uh, baby. They'll give birth to them live. And the babies come out quite large, almost half the size of the female. And then they hang out. They actually uh, hang out with the adults uh, and grow up in a family. So it's a really unique reptile in that way, in that they have a family group. But what we are coming to understand about reptiles, let me fix this. Oh, thank you. What we're coming to understand about reptiles is they keep on teaching us new things about themselves. And uh, not all uh, that we know about reptiles is accurate. For example, there is a species of South American uh, river turtle, uh, Podocnemys expansa, um, and it's a very large river turtle. They're starting to do some sound tests, and they found that during the hatching season, the adults stay close by in the river and they actually emit a low frequency sound so that the hatchlings can find the adults and follow them upstream. Pretty amazing stuff. So we're finding out new things about reptiles each and every day. And as we look into these animals' lives, we really are starting to understand they're not dumb, they're more complex than we give them credit for, and I love that because any animal that's been on Earth as long as the reptiles have definitely have a few things figured out and they are certainly more intelligent than we give them credit for so there you have it seth i hope you enjoyed this little update on the solomon island skinks they're still doing very well and they're enjoying their lives el diablo we'll leave her alone stay there el diablo but in the meantime you could say you could see that solomon is uh not to be trifled with but I love these animals, slow and steady. They're kind of tortoises in the way that they climb. They're not the most nimble, but they are very, very good. And when you factor in the fact they have this incredible tail, uh, they aren't going anywhere. There's very rarely a fall from this animal. Very methodical in the way they climb. All right, everyone, thanks so much for hanging out with me on this Thursday and uh, learning a little bit about the Solomon Island skinks. I hope you enjoy it. I know I did. Anytime I get to hang out with you and my animals, I'm thrilled. Plus, we also got to see the Glimmer Twins right here. All right, Frick and Frack. And of course, Slinky as I move on out of this cage. See you along. Hey, wait, don't forget. I wanted to say something. Don't forget to submit your questions to Patreon. I enjoy uh, reading them and I enjoy answering them. Ask me anything. All right, there you go, Slinky. Say goodbye to everybody. Don't you do it, Slinky. He's ready to whip me. Don't whip me, man. I'm your buddy. All right, everyone, that's it. From Slinky, Guapo, Lola, Solomon, and El Diablo. I'm Cannon, and I'm leaving. Mm. Yeah, I sit there strong. Watch that. All you gotta do is wet your... her on her tippy toes. Yeah. Come on. Wow, rock climbing. Yeah, yeah. Rock climbing turtles. Yeah. There it is. We paid off waiting. Wow, we figured out how she escaped. There's how she does it, Mom. Patience. Patience. She outlasts us, but today... Look at the legs, look at the legs. Oh my yeah, God. today we outlasted her. She's gonna switch into four wheel low. And she's gonna get right over that thing. Dun, 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 dun. Look at this. What a little knucklehead. Wow.